Hello, hello. Today we are here in Cremona in my violin workshop. I'm Edgar Roos and I'm happy to um, give you another few uh, small inputs. As you might know, I'm just focusing completely on construction of new instruments from the very beginning, from the piece of wood which I'm even choosing in the forest seasoning over 30 years and then I'm making my instruments, okay? Today I thought I will make a movie for you just regarding the bow and what you could do better in order that your instrument is sounding even better, okay? Now, the ones who know me know that I've never even rehaired a bow in my life. Here in Cremona, I'm only focusing on making instruments and bows are something for bow makers, okay? Nevertheless, over the past 35 years, I had the chance to make up my mind regarding bows. And this is why I also have a few bows, which I sell to my customers in case they have, let's say, a Scala Perfetta, when I have a certain range of bows. Uh, which are made in Germany and then they are from Dörfler and then I, I print them and I put on Atelier Rose, it's no crime, it's very transparent or you like it or you don't like it, it's up to you. I think it's a nice uh, bow for beginners, a wooden bow which really works. For the medium range I have bows which are already made by good makers and I have three models, tubs, Picat and uh, Satori, they are slightly different in the grade and usually I sell them for people who play like middle range instruments like the, my Linea Maki, which I think they work very well. And then I have master bows and uh, for my master instruments and I love here from Cremona since why do I have to go far to Paris or whatever. I like the bows from Luki. Uh, uh, I think Marta makes really nice bows. And I learned also a few things from her. One thing, for, inst uh, for instance, is that I think that the hair everybody wants, completely white hair. It stands like for pure, clean, perfection, everything. But what all of you probably don't know is to get them as white like this, people have to bleach the hair. So they bleach the hair and the hair by bleaching and bleaching is losing its property of the hair itself. So if you just would go for a gray uh, mixture of dark brown and black, it probably would be better for your sound, okay? Because the tiny grains in the hair which are actually responsible to have a certain grip would work better and you would lose less Rosin. Another small detail which I think is very interesting, if you look at the bow, I don't know if you can see that. Now let's say I can see it very nice, there's a nice curve. This one's now you see a very nice curve and certainly you will want the bows straight and everything. But then before playing you have to twist and give more pressure to the bow, right? So if now I see musicians giving pressure they make it a little bit too straight, right? Like this. And by pulling that much, that it is probably all the same, you take away all the frequency the, the good bow has. So calm down, give a little bit less pressure and let the bow vibrate. Just short, don't pull too much, okay? In case you, you feel that you don't have enough pressure, just go to a bow maker, I cannot do that. But by twisting so much, you take away all the properties of your great bow. When you were choosing your bow, you were choosing how it is uh, jumping and how it is reacting, if it is calm over the whole bow without doing strange things. And just when you choose your bow, believe in your, your feedback just by taking the bow in your hand. Actually, you made up already your mind, you know? And just trust yourself. Another small thing is about the screw. Okay, 
I was surprised how actually when you go out now with a screw, you see that this here, there is a certain gap. But then at a certain point you screw that in and then it is on the very end and then there is a kind of a grip and it starts moving this one back side. Now you have to know that this screw should not touch at the end here, okay? This is the point. The screw stops inside the bow, okay? Otherwise it would eat up your bow. This screw would like sharpen away over the years your bow. You don't want that, yeah? So you always have to check out that the screw is actually not touching here, okay? And if you're not sure, go to your bow maker and get it checked. And you will immediately even hear it of the performance of your bow, that if this is good, it sounds better. Before you go to the bow maker, you could do it yourself a little bit. It twists not very well, so take the screw out, keep the frog, take the screw out, try to have a candle, I'm sure you have a candle at home, you candle dinner, you know, romantic. Take this candle and where this, um, I don't know, filetto, I don't know how it's called it, where this, um, for, for the screw is, just pass it a little bit on the candle, a little bit of wax remains on and that's good enough. And then put it in and it should be already a little bit better. It didn't solve your problem always with the candle or with a traditional, not fluid soap, but with a hard piece of soap, you can here put a little bit of soap. Don't exaggerate, but this could be a little bit, that this is a little bit slipping a little bit better, okay? If it doesn't become better, go to your bow maker, okay? Don't screw yourself up here and destroy things. Um, it, it's not uh, so easy, okay? Things look easier than they are. What else could I say? Yes, another thing what I just observing by musicians, some have great hair and no, don't need any rosin, okay? Some put on too much rosin. By so strong uh, putting on the rosin, you're heating it actually up and then it doesn't really work as well. So the, ro the rosin should be done a little bit like this, okay? Calm down and put it a little bit like this and this should be good enough. If it's too much, then usually I do a little bit like this. So it's going a little bit away and in between and that's it, okay? That you, when you put so much on it by playing, then it's like smoking, like, I don't know, no need, okay? It's just that don't touch the hair, no grease should be on, and the rosin is just something in order that it works better. That's all, okay? If here something is loosening up, don't wait too much. Go immediately and it doesn't cost you too much, okay? That's all I have to say about bows. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned even today something. And I want to learn things about the bows, so just leave your comment down below. Sign up if you didn't and uh, push the bell button. And see you soon again. Bye bye!